Hello and welcome to Vocabilities.com aka Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and today I've got the pleasure of reviewing the voice of one of the world's most famous actors, Morgan Freeman. Andy Dufresne. He is a powerhouse performer and is known for his incredibly amazing voice. Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. He's been in films such as The Shawshank Redemption, Seven, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and Million Dollar Baby, to name but a small few because he's had such a long career. In many of the films he does, he also does the voiceover for them, and he's done plenty of voiceovers in their own right as well. And the reason for this is because his voice is just smooth and clear and deep and resonant and rich, and it's so lovely to listen to. Now I've been covering uh, public speakers as opposed to actors so far because actors generally train their voice and that's why their voices are so kind of well formed and well rounded. So I wanted to go for speakers because their influence is on using their voice not necessarily having trained in the voice and I thought it was interesting to start with them. But when requested to do Morgan Freeman I couldn't say no because he's a fine example of when you do the work on your voice, you will have the voice you want. So let's take a look at Morgan Freeman. The part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. But still, the place you live in is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. Those deep, rich, lovely quality tone that he has to his voice is just, it's so soothing. I could fall asleep, like, he could read me a bedtime story whenever and I'd happily fall asleep and get a good night's rest. The way he gets this sound is, is actually fairly simple, but of course he's done it for his whole life. I'm sure before he uh, trained, because he trained as an actor, he had voice and uh, diction lessons, so he he's trained to develop his voice a certain way. And actually, one of the things that I say is most important if you want to find a deeper, more resonant voice is to learn how to relax. And he's someone who epitomizes that. Now, he also agrees with one of my principles. Now, three years ago, I posted one of my first videos on YouTube and I was talking, one of the first exercises I said that people should use is to yawn because yawning opens up and creates space in uh, the instrument all the way kind of from your soft palate, it makes that more flexible, more dynamic, opening up spaces all the way down your throat. And when you do that, you're A, creating more flexibility, more relaxation, and you're also giving yourself the ability to create more space which allows the resonance, which is the vibrations, to fill a deeper chasm, therefore creating a richer, deeper sound. And Morgan Freeman agrees with me on this. Watch this. One thing I can tell you, if you're looking to uh, improve your, the sound of your voice, yawn a lot. Yawn a lot? Yawn a lot, yeah. Why? Tell me why. It relaxes your throat muscles. It relaxes your vocal cords. And as soon as they relax, the tone drops. The lower your voice is, the better you sound. See, yawning. Yawning is one of the best exercises you can do. Now, it's a great job he said that. I'm so happy that I found that video. But it's true. Yawning is one of the best ways to just get yourself warmed up and get everything moving, get the muscles that are involved with the voice limber and more flexible. And that is just something you can do anywhere at any time without having to make sound. Of course, when you yawn, you can touch on sound as well. So it could be a great way to warm up just before you speak or even a great way to warm down after speaking as well, I would suggest. Um, you could do this in the morning when you get up. You could do it just before you need to get up and do your presentations. Yawning, yawning, yawning. It's a great exercise. Keep it. If it's good enough for Morgan Freeman, it's good enough for everyone else, all right? I mean, that is the main quality of his voice is the fact that he's so relaxed. Morgan doesn't necessarily get up on stage and do big... Uh, events and um, public speaking as such. He does a lot of work on camera and as voiceover. And that will also pick up those lower notes and qualities because you're much closer to the microphone, you're speaking much quieter, more relaxed. Now if I'm to look at my own voice, I am able to get resonance in a similar way, but I need to train myself. And he's obviously training every day, he's working every day, so that's something he does. I'm more a high energy and I'm doing physical exercises as well. So in order for me to get a voice like him, I'd have to do 
at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes of voice work every day and after maybe two to three weeks my voice would then have relaxed enough to have that kind of resonance to it. In fact I'm going to probably record myself on that journey from being uh, in a physical fitness space which is what I'm doing at the moment into becoming the performer again and to show you that transformation of my voice but I'll save that for another video. He's got a very strong accent I'm not quite sure where in America he's from but it's um, slightly nasally, so you can hear the, the sounds going up through his nose. He's, he's moving air there, uh, but he's also a little bit throaty, but because he's so open and resonant, sound just leaves him in a very um, full, kind of fully formed way. His articulation is great, he always pronounces. So even though he's got a very strong accent, you can understand what he's saying because he's very clear, precise, and considered. Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne. So slightly nasally, slightly throaty, but very low and very relaxed. When I get up to do some speaking or when I do some acting, I always do some voice work beforehand to make sure that I've got a voice which is um, uh, clear, resonant, deep and full. But I, I, I mean, I don't know really what to say about him because he's the prime example of exactly what a uh, voice can do and how well it can sound when it's used correctly and as he said himself it's because of voice work he's done the work daily on himself and he does the work regularly he regularly yawns he practices his diction he relaxes he does things probably to keep him his body in a state uh, which is best prepared for a speaker. And even though he's got a strong accent, it's not a problem because he articulates himself very well. So I mean, what can I say? I mean, it's, it's Morgan Freeman. And he has had that voice for a long time because I found something from the 1980s where he was a lot younger on the TV. Watch this. Easy reader, that's my name. Oh, oh, oh. Reading, reading, that's my game. Oh, oh. It, it's a far cry, but you know you can, you can still hear that he had a very full, rich voice. And actually, uh, on that show, you can also see that he was a stage performer. He was a much bigger voice as well. So he can be very resonant and uh, loud, as well as subtle and quiet and effective in that medium also. So he's one of my favorite voices. He's someone that everyone could look at if they want to um, improve their voice just by the tonal qualities that he has, and that's all down to relaxation. I'd love to go into a, a further analysis on Morgan Freeman, as I would do some of the other ones, but these videos are just short reviews, uh, just to give you a basic overall understanding of maybe what that speaker is doing or not doing in order to make their voice work the way it does. Hopefully that's given you an insight into something you can take for yourself, AKA relaxation. I'm Darren McStay, this is Vocabilities.com, AKA improve your voice. I'll be bringing more of these videos soon. If you would like to get involved, and suggest a speaker or an actor for me to check their voice out then just leave a message in the comments and I'll get back to you of course I'd love it if you could come to my Instagram and say hi there because I'm gonna start doing some live chats and maybe looking at your own voice so that could be something where we can meet and chat there kind of Gary V style thanks for watching this is vocabilities.com aka improve your voice my name is Darren McStay and until the next time look after your voice <laughs> <laughs>